Arizona Ball Wrestling, the following is a tag team match. It will be wrestled to one fall. One fall! Introducing first in the ring to my left, please welcome first from Las Vegas, Nevada, Kiku Taro! Well, if you're looking for polar opposites in a tag team match, Kathy, I think we have found the perfect combination. Johnny, you have Kiko Taro and Mina Mino, who are so well known in the comedy genre, but Rhonda's monsters are space cops. Well, they, okay, you gotta be careful what you call them. They have not ever called themselves space cops. That's been a common nickname that people have given to them. I would not necessarily call them space cops. We don't know what they do in the nebular emission spiral. But so, they're, they're patrolling the galaxy for interplanetary sure. do well. But you have to be very, look, I am very well versed in the paranormal and outer space. You have to be very careful the kind of vocabulary you use. Okay, that's true. Now, I, sh I should be more mindful. Have you ever seen space balls? Well, you have to be very careful. A lot happens up there. That's true. There's just so much. There's so much of it. Of course. Now, if there is anyone who could control the galaxy with their crime-fighting tactics, it would be BHK and Yuma. Okay, agreed. Yes. At least we can find some common ground. Absolutely we can. Kicking it off with Kiku Taro and BHK. I'd like to say they're equal in strength, although I'd be lying. This is very true, but you know they're still they're, they're sussing each other out. They they you know they want to engage and, and really check each other out. Oh. oh. Well, that's an interesting way to get out of a it, it, yeah, tie it's, up. It's a different tactic. For yeah. Sure. For sure. Well, Kiku Taro, you mentioned you know obviously he's known for his great sense of humor. But a lot of that is very psychological. He wants to make his opponent think he's not alert at all times. When it comes down to it, he catches a lot of his opponents sleeping. It's true. And I, some of his maneuvers are actually quite evasive. Sometimes he will sleep with his opponents. That's how you really get in their head. That's the long con. <laughs> the long con is a perfect way of saying it. I'm not quite sure what he said there, but Nick Bonanno is... Keeping a close eye. Oh! What do you say? Almost. Almost. Okay, almost doesn't count. Okay, so yeah. we're still in this. He is still technically in the match. Oh, oh wait a minute. Able to reverse into a hammerlock. Oh. He is a technical wizard, is Kikutaro. Oh! Standing strong. When power meets power. Once again. Oh, no. Yep, there you go. Dastardly. See? Catches his opponent sleeping, Kathy. It's true. You fool them into a state of questioning your own tactics, and then you. See? And a massive boot! Completely messing up the beard of BHK. Oh, no. Wait a minute. Did he? Now, okay. Did he go to where I think he, he went? He went where I think, yeah. How did that not affect BHK at all? That's, wait a minute, what's, is he asking for it again? So he's got right. the, the double gun, yep. Kathy, and he's, Into the, oh! Okay. Now, okay, here's, wait. here's a theory. Now, they do go to outer space. Yes. What, what could happen there? Wait, he just said he's been probed before. There you go, there you go. It's not gonna have any effect. Now, technically, wouldn't this be a submission hold? This could be. Yeah. Now, I mean, Banano's not making the five count. It's almost looking like, would you say, referee Nick oh. Banano was behind on the count? Look at the agility of the anus of BHK. Unbelievable. Just when you thought we've seen it all. But I think we, I think you're right, Kathy. They've, they've done a lot in outer space. We can't confirm exactly how much, but clearly they've 
they've probed a bit. Enough, enough. And vice versa. They've done, yep. Uh -huh. Meanwhile, we're about to see Yuma for the first time. And Takeshi Mina. Mino, I believe. Oh, he doesn't want to tag that finger. I wouldn't either. Oh. Mina. There you go. Okay. There's no Purell at ringside. Tag me. Right, Mina Mino making his debut here. Mina Mino, interesting, interesting uh, career that he's had. He actually has spent most of his time in uh, Japan. Yeah, of course. But his career actually began in Mexico. And he's only been in the U.S. for a couple of months now. Possibly wants to make it a permanent home, a win here at Bar Wrestling in the midnight hour would be a good way to do it. Oh! There's the quickness of Yuma. Striking down the momentum. Oh! Using the gluteus. Absolutely, hooks the leg here. Mina Mino kicks out at two. Mina Mino, you have to applaud his, his strength, his agility, his quickness. Making his debut in, at the early age of 16. He's, he's been doing this for such an early age, it's part of his being. Not to mention training at the Ultimate Drago Gym. Oh my God! The BHK Beard clothesline. And now the combo senton. The beard, the functionality of the beard. And only a two, Minamino kicking out. See now, as crazy as this match has been so far, this is where the Rock Nest Monsters, they've been a team for over a decade, whether it's been on land or in outer space. They have a distinct advantage. They've definitely been teaming longer than Kikutaro and Minamino. You absolutely, I mean, nail on the head. They have such an incredible working chemistry together. And I mean, when you spent four Earth years on the Saurian 2 sure. together on just, just a ship, that's, I mean, that really builds a bond. I don't even remember four Earth years ago, let alone doing it in outer space. Wait, Kiko Taro, did he just do what I think he did? I think he, he tried to probe Yuma? He tried it again. If at first you don't succeed. Wait a minute, is he? Oh, oh! God! Oh, oh! no! Oh! oh, that's so nasty. Oh, he made it. Oh, no, 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 no. You yeah, get you him a drink. A fan just handed him an empty cup. Oh. That's so rude. I mean, those fingers have been in a, a lot of places. A lot of places. Yeah. In this match alone, a lot of places. Not to mention I saw him eating chili with his hands prior to the... Oh, gosh. Just adding insult to injury. A number of fists there from Mina Mino now. He doesn't care how he'll take advantage. He'll do it. Absolutely. Oh, my God. Taking him right off his feet. I still smell it. I still smell. Yuma really affected. His olfactory senses might be done for good. It's true. And you got to wonder, I mean, if you're not having all of your senses, I mean, how can you really fully be present in the match? Oh, oh once again. No, no more. Kikutaro no going back to the well. You see Nick Manano just diving out of the way. He does not want to get a waft of any of that. No. Oh, boy, Yuma, I, this is not how he expected his 2019 to start off. Oh. Now a kick to the back of the left hamstring. Now, what is that doing to... Well, right now he's twisting it. That's putting pressure on the MCL, possible meniscus. Oh, Little technical aspect there, Kiko Toro's uh, arsenal. Oh. Yuma desperately trying to fight out. Oh, my God, there's the power. Of Kikutaro is Minamino getting back in. Another gingerly done tag, but a tag nonetheless. Absolutely. We saw BHK go for the blind tag, couldn't quite get there. Hooks the leg here. It's just so Yuma. devastating to see your partner in this kind of state. That's right, Yuma kicking out of two there. Ooh. You know, for all the experience of Rock Ness. Oh, hooks the leg again. Yuma kicking out of one, you know. Any, why not? A third pin attempt in a row. Yuma kicking out of two, but that takes more and more out of your opponent with every pin attempt. Absolutely. Oh. Uppercut to the gut, and again. Right in the bread basket. Catches him here. Look out! BHK calling desperately for Yuma to get to him. He stuns Mina Mina, but Kikataro. Pulling him back to their corner. Banano finally getting in there to do something. I mean, taking 
account also the fact that his evasion oh. of Nick Bonanno's evasion of uh, the, the stinky fingers right. I was mean, also, I mean, it was a, those are wise maneuvers on his part. To be fair, I don't know if that's something anything has ever seen before, so it's kind of hard to call that the moment. Now he's pulling out his hair? Oh, my God. Oh, well, now I, I, I Wait, think they're having... What is going on with the turnbuckle now? Well, they're having referee Nick Bonanno help fix the turnbuckle that's falling out of place, but, okay. but I'm, I'm fearing that Kikutaro and Minamino might be capitalizing on this, this if, moment of distraction. If I'm BHK, I let the turnbuckle go. Oh. I mean, this is uh tensions are high oh. in this match. He catches Kikotaro finally. Now we know Kikotaro not exactly fleet of foot, so while he's down, Yuma has to make this tag. Absolutely, there's no way around it. Oh no, the frustration, the agony. Oh, beautiful Insiguri there. Now Yuma finally oh, making the tag. Go. There we go. Look out. Sunset flip way over and a standing drop kick. Incredible. Taking the guitar right off his feet and getting him lined up in that corner. Sending him in going for a DHK splash. Is so athletic. Sending him into the corner here. Now charging in, and he got him. Oh. The fury of a BHK, I feel like I as soon as the beard comes out, yeah. I like know it's go time. He is so explosive. And he's ready to put Kikotaro away here. Dodging the line. Another line dodged. Uh, oh once again. Do you going for the probe? I don't think Kikotaro realizes. Maybe he's done maybe this in Japan. Oh god. Oh. Whoa. That doesn't even affect. Oh, oh boy. Okay. Now, we do know, Kathy, sometimes in outer space, you can lose control of your senses. Maybe he doesn't have smell. Oh, oh God, he's biting him. Oh, he's biting it. Oh. Oh, he's biting it. Okay. Oh. I mean, his palate just might be cleansed, and you he know, can handle that kind of thing. Maybe when you've been eating space food for four years. That's true. Oh. oh. You ever had astronaut ice cream? It's kind of delicious. It kind of is, but it's the texture. It's just very easy. It kind of tastes like cotton candy and styrofoam. Fair enough. Like the Lucky Charms marshmallows. You would know about cereal. I would. Meanwhile, double team here for Minamino and Kikotaro. And BHK crashing through it. Close lines them both. Meanwhile, Yuma, not exactly fresh, but he's tagging in off the second turnbuckle. Right. Could they be going for weapons grade Bologna, perhaps? Oh, God. Oh. <laughs> German suplex. And a pin, and he got him! Oh, no, he didn't! Oh. Kikotaro saving the day! Oh, looks like it was only two. From our angle, that was a very close call. Wow, Kikotaro using his head as only he can. That was incredible. That was. Now it looks like... Low blow! Kikotaro, oh. the no-look low blow, and boy, is he proud of himself. Oh, look at him just dancing around in all his glory. You know, the probe doesn't work, but you kick him in the other side. Oh, <laughs> Yuma throwing out one of his own. Oh, this oh. New Year's celebration. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Mistook his oh. own partner. Oh, Minamino gets it. BHK is the only one left. Whip, get one up for that weapons grade balonium. Wait a minute. Got him. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Laying him out. Oh, look out. Eddie. Oh. Got him. That has to be it. Hooks the leg. Brock Ness wins. The high flying, the craziness. You know, Kathy, I would like to give a technical breakdown of this match. I'm at a loss for words. Feel free to explain what we just saw. Johnny, we saw fingers in butts. We saw anal probing. We saw anal probing. We saw fingers in noses and mouths. We saw low blows galore. It's just been a really... We, we saw balls being obliterated. Yes. But now we see Rockness embracing as they get a huge win on bar wrestling in the midnight hour. So much Woo. more action left. We will be right back. <laughs> 